today in Selena Talk. I come prepared with light here. Ooh, that's the bright guy. So these things, these things are lifesavers. This is a saber light. I'm gonna cover in the Fab Diary stuff like tools, hand tools, air tools, and I should probably cover very useful other things like lights. And this is one of them. I always use these, the, you know, the one thing that gets overlooked with a lot of people when they're building trucks is lighting on the interior of the vehicle. And you can like hang these things, they have hooks. I'll get into that later, but anyways, you know, have good lighting and I'll cover that in a separate section. Like I said, so everything's rolled. We use a roller from Trick Tools and we wanted to get things as close as possible. So you can also see that the B pillar tube is also rolled and it's pretty tight up there. The one thing that this truck comes with is, is a sunroof, you know, with a mechanical, like a big mechanism that bolts to the roof that you know hangs down a couple inches from the actual sheet metal of the roof the thing i don't like doing with that is i don't like running that system because if you know the way that that comes out is it comes out from the inside the cab and if you have a failure with your sunroof or something breaks or you break parts from it you you're just stuck with that broken mechanism up in the roof so what we did is we built a return, we stripped the mechanism out of there and we just made a moonroof. So that glass is just gonna be glued in there just like a windshield. And you can see on the top that it's flush. It's got a considerable amount of dust on there, but um, you know, we welded a return in there. So let's see here. You know, you can see everything's pretty tight and that keeps it where there doesn't need to be anything serviced there. It just lives there and gives light. So there's double layers of Dynamat. We'll be doing that on the back wall. The doors already have it. Uh, and we'll also do the bottom floor and maybe some even where the carpet goes back in. Once we Dynamat everything and we did the, uh, the moonroof in there, this whole cage is constructed in the cab and it's tacked really good. And then what we do is, is this tube actually comes out and it, this whole system, this whole upper portion comes out through the windshield area. So that windshield comes out, we pull the whole upper roof out, weld it all like on just on pipe stands here and get everything 360 welded. So you'll see like all this stuff is all welded you know all the way around so it's not just this top part but it's actually all on the back side too and that ensures that all the junctions are welded all the way around which makes it a lot safer and a lot less prone to shearing or cracking so the whole roof section is is in and fixed and then we build all the uprights so all the you know the c pillar area the door bar and kind of the shock mount area all the tubes that connect to the roof section are welded but they're just root passed just like i covered kind of in the back half section um, obviously like the junctions that are part of the roof like all these guys these are all 360 welded in here in final and we're not welding that stuff upside down we're welding all the way around and then we tie in everything else so once this truck is fully you know all the seat mounts are in all the tube work is in we'll go back and we'll final weld all this stuff just because this is all just root pass um, we'll final weld it and um, it'll be done so the shock mounts get built in the truck and then we pop these things out we weld them on the table 
and then pop them back in. Same thing, this is all root pass, so we'll just final pass once all the structure is built in. Something else to consider with this? What we wanted to as far as like uh, JP's wants is he's, he's gonna be driving this thing, you know, he lives up north in California, he's gonna be driving this thing to Mexico, Ocotillo Wells, uh, all the hot spots, non-trailer for now. We didn't want to fill too many tubes in the B-pillar area and make it claustrophobic. Uh, minimal harness bar, so this is all inch and a quarter. But we didn't want to run a big section through here, like a B-pillar section, where it was cutting off the view and the space in the rear passenger area. Uh, everything's kind of tailored to, like, the factory center console is, is tailored to fit in here. The foot room, you know, this, this X is offset, so... It's not in line with this, with the B pillar that comes down. It's actually set further in. So your, your feet and your knees are not, you know, obstructed in any way by tubes. You know, even if they start kicking out, they're, they're not a problem. The, the factory dash bar is integrated in a way where, you know, it's, it's on its own level. And then we have our two inch tube up top and then the factory dash fits in perfect. So we're going to put all the, air conditioning ducting and all the dash back in and it'll just you know it'll be just like a like a OEM tundra with a cage we're waiting on our aero tube to do the main a for the uh, intrusion bars and that should be it so let's get out of here okay all right so uh, that kind of sums up the cage portion of Selena wanted to break this up into several episodes so I could cover detail and it's not going to be some hour long thing of me ranting on about different subjects and features on the truck. If you guys have comments or questions, please feel free to let me know below um, on my Instagram, whatever. Thanks. Bye.